And I also love Beatty. And I had another thought, and I have to throw this one out there for those of you veterans who've had diabetes for a long, 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 long time. Where's the reward? <laughs> At what point in time do I just all of a sudden get this epiphany and I'm like, yeah, I'm so good at this now. I've had diabetes for 20 something years. And um, it's like all of a sudden when you think you've got it down, you've got your blood glucose levels, you know, where you feel like you, you've got a handle on it and everything's cool. Um, all of a sudden, Mother Nature throws something else at you. So, out of nowhere, last week, I, I'm sharing a lot of information with everybody. I began profusely vomiting. Lasted for about 24 hours until my parents, no mercy whatsoever, they're like, get out of bed, go into the hospital. I'm like, no, I really don't want to. Please, just leave me here. And my dad's like, no, you are severely dehydrated. You need an IV. You go into the hospital. So I go to the hospital. They run all the tests. You know, I've got another sinus infection. I'm severely dehydrated. Blood glucose levels? A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Not the diabetes. So what on earth is going on here? So, you know, after everybody mills over every test known to man run, they're like, yeah, you know, sometimes with diabetes, after a long time, you get something called gastroparesis. Yeah, we're going to hook you up with another test, so maybe we can find another condition we can give you. And I'm like, whatever. Yeah, me and my digestive system, we're tight. We're good. So, you know what, I'll go for the test, and hopefully these radioactive eggs are going to make me eat, you know, pass through quickly or whatever it is that they watch. But, you know, like... There is no reward for this disease. You could be the stellar, the gold star patient your whole life, but it's like diabetes is just, it's like the, um, it's the gateway disease. It causes everything else. I am so profoundly convinced they don't want to cure this disease. It's, it's the gateway. It leads you into everything else. You know, I'm sorry, I'm cynical, but you know what? I have a right to be just disgusted with how they know that the imbalance in blood glucose, there's got to be a way they can control it, and I hate that they focus on blood sugar as being, you know, the blood sugar is the aftermath. It's like, my house is on fire, my house is on fire, your house is burned down, and people see all the ashes. That's your blood sugar. It's the aftermath. It's... It's not going to solve your problem. It's part of the problem. Where did the problem start? Looking for it. Is it a leaky gut when you were a kid? You know, was it was it the measles, mumps, rubella vaccination? Was it chicken pox? Was it the Coxsackie virus? Was it mono? <laughs> what is it? You know, they, I just think that we are too obsessed with looking at the aftermath of things and not where it came from. And that's really the way you get to it. You gotta nip it in the bud. You gotta get to it early. And I don't understand why researchers, corporate paid researchers, <laughs> insist on looking at the aftermath and not the causation. It's, I don't know, it's backwards to me. All right, everybody, sound off. Attack me, support me, whatever you need to do. Um, I think we're moving along nicely, and uh, you know what, especially the veteran diabetics out there, let's hear it. You guys have had more time and deep thought about this disease than anybody in the world ever should, and I think collaboratively as we bring it together, hopefully we can close this out soon, because... thank God for technology, I'm not really sure about this this um, particle accelerator thing they're about to turn on. I'm not sure what that's going to do for the world of science, but hey, maybe with the right ideas and the right people behind the wheel, great things can happen. So go to AllieVoice.com to subscribe or just stop back at YouTube. Thanks, guys.